constant numbers using our factor game. How many, of you, how many of you remember our factor game that we learned yesterday? And you had to decide whether you knew the strategy on winning or not. So an important key to this is can I identify prime and composite numbers to beat my opponent? Real quick, let's take up your materials. Gather up your counters. Dump them in our bags. And while you're doing this, just glance over there at the plate on the wall that tells where you go. Just glance. If you can't see, I'm going to uh, tell you which group you're going into. Our groups today are going to be small. Miss Maple will work with a set of kids. I will have a group and Miss Boone. It's the same thing. Good job cleaning up. Thank you for listening. Any counters will clean them up after our whole math time is over. Yeah. All right, so if you are student number two, you go to group one and they're located at table one. If you're student 24, you're group one, table one. Student eight, group one, table one, and student six, group one, table one. If you know you're in group one, stand up now. Okay. Group 2 is 13, 7, 15, and 12. If you know you're in group 2, stand up. You'll be going to table 3 with me. Group 3 is 22 and 1. If you're in group 3, stand up. You go to table 2. Group 4, you are 19, 4, 10, 11, 16, and 18. If you are in group 4, stand up. Group four, you will be at table four, and you will need to pull a chair up to help you. Quietly go to your tables. Inside your boxes, you're going to find instructions for your factor game. You'll need to each set of partners find a different color so that you can play against each other. Who are we missing from this group? Arlene, can you get a chair and pull it up? And you decide who's going to play against who. Arlene, can you go ahead and pull out your uh, instructions? And you guys have factors one through 99. Think you can handle that? Yes. All right, go. So we're going to play the factor game, and Lindsay, you missed out with us yesterday. And what do you think we need to know to, in order to play the factor game, Evan? Factors, and we also need to know which numbers are composite. All right, Jordan, can you sit up here next to Jacob? So our directions say player A and player B. And I think today we're going to let player A be the person with the lighter colored shirt. That's going to be hard to decide. Is yours lighter? Is yours light? Yours is lighter and yours is... All right, so you're going to be player to A. They get to go first. And they're going to choose a number, any number on the board. And you're going to choose a color to use. So decide which color you want. And you'll choose a number on the board. Now, after you circle your number, guess what player B has to do? Player B has to find all the factors for that number. Then he gets those points. Then he gets those points. One moment, because we forgot we have to keep score. Hold on. When you keep score, you record the numbers that you circle on a piece of paper. So you'll keep all of your points here. And you keep your points as well. Remember how we did that yesterday? Mackenzie, you weren't here, so I'm going to help you out. I'm not going to help her win, though. That's up to her. Okay, so let's just start with step one and two. And let's get player A to circle a number. 
Player A, can you circle a number? Get that score. Okay, he says 49. Now, what score are you going to write on your paper so far? 49. And what do you have to do, Player B? Find all the factors. I'll get you a marker. There you go. Okay, she circled 10. What do you have to do, Player B? He's finding the factors. And while he's finding the factors, you write 10 down. That's how many points you get so far. Yes. What are the factors for 10? And what else? Is 10 a factor? Very good. One and 10 are factors. So what do you do with 1, 2, and 5, Evan? 5, 2, and 1. Very good. Now, it's his turn to choose a number, and you find the factors. Did you find all the factors? I got seven and one. All right, so you put seven and one here. And then it's your turn to find a product, and he has to find the factors. Remember playing? Okay, now he's going to pick a number. 